Hey guys, welcome to Lollyland. We are in Ocean Grove, New Jersey for my cousin's wedding. It's a very casual beach wedding. I'm just yeah. wearing capris and a little top. Mikey's got little parrots. It's nice to go to a wedding when you can just wear like chill yes. clothes. She's and like shorts and, and flip flops. So Nancy and Bob, congratulations. Let's go see you get hitched. Bye yeah. baby. Woo. And together we go high. There's Asbury Park, way down there. Bruce Springsteen's old stomping grounds. Convention Hall. It's all down there. I love that idea, yeah. these chairs. And, um, and then everyone can kind of gather you yeah. know, along here. And Aww. yeah, this is Chase. Okay. And uh, we found him at our new favorite restaurant, Era. This guy looks like he's uh, going to catch some waves any minute now. of obligations and responsibilities. Please remember that love, loyalty, and understanding, and many pets, are the foundation of a happy marriage and an enduring home. <laughs> marriage is to belong to each other through a unique and diverse collaboration, like two threads crossing in different directions, yet weaving one tapestry. The secret of love and marriage is to be in love and in trust, to know in your heart that you only want the best for each other. Marriage is a supreme sharing and an adventure in the most intimate of human relationships. Today is a celebration, a celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, of family and friends, of two people right here who are in it forever. You don't have to have a ceremony to have a marriage, but Bob and Nancy got tired of hearing questions about when they were finally getting married. So here we are. I met Bob and Nancy a few months ago to discuss their life together and what they wanted for their wedding ceremony. After a few minutes of speaking with them, it was crystal clear to me that from the beginning, the universe wanted this couple to share their life together. There were too many coincidences that came to life. Do all of you know that Bob and Nancy went to high school together? Both lived in Woodbridge. Both knew a lot of the same people, but not each other. 
even if they did know each other, Mom told me he was a nice guy. Nancy told me that early on, she liked the bad boys. <laughs> so, high school came and went, and Bob and Nancy moved on with their lives. In 1988, the university still wasn't giving up. It, bought, it brought Bob and Nancy together again, this time working for the same company. Bob worked on the first floor, and Nancy was on the third. This time, they would meet. Bob told him he liked Nancy and would find reasons to go upstairs to the third floor just to seek her out. Yet through it all, they remained just friends. As time went on, they moved in different, different directions to different jobs and they didn't see each other all, as often. Then in March of 95, the universe had one more plan. It was going to send Bob and Nancy, along with friends Joe and Gary, on a planned fishing trip to Key West. The night before the trip, Bob, summoned up the courage to kiss Nancy, and the rest is history. They moved in with each other, they bought a house, and they raised a few cats. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need strength, tenderness when you need tenderness, and love when you need love. These are the hands that countless times will wipe tears from your eyes. Tears of sorrow, but tears of joy. These are the hands that will hold all those whom you love. And these are the hands that years from now will still be searching for your hands. Still seeking the love and encouragement and support that each of you seeks from each other.
So Nancy and Bob, you have expressed your love to one another for the commitment and promises you have just made in the company of your two families and your circle of friends. It is with this in mind that I pronounce your husband and wife. Yeah. You have become husband and wife, and you can now seal the agreement with a kiss. Today, your kiss is a promise. So, by the power vested in me, by the state of New Jersey, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And now, to all the friends and family who have come to celebrate this marriage, I would like to present for the first time anywhere, Bob and Nancy, husband and wife, they finally did it. Even the dogs are celebrating. Bring your bring the card. Yeah, bring it. Tell us where you got the beads, or how you got them. Oh. How did you get the beads? From Joey Fatone? You've had those that long? <laughs> Same one. Those beads? Wow. Universal 1990. See. You showed your boobs to Joey Fatone and he gave you the beads? Well, no, he didn't give them, but the night we saw Joey at Universal. I didn't have to show anything. In 1996, <laughs> so it was Mardi Gras. <laughs> Congratulations. That was a beautiful ceremony. <laughs> you got this. So we love you. We love you. Lolly and Mikey. You should have put subscribe to Lolly Land. <laughs> Apple cider. We have some fresh brewed iced tea.
I'm going out with you tonight. Are you close to here? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling down. I don't know why. No, it's so surreal. Think I want you here. It's free.